you say scientific method, this is just a series of systematic steps used in acquiring knowledge or in answering questions about the environment. Okay, so again, this is just a review, especially if you were in my class last year, I know that you've already seen all these slides. All right, now this picture here, the picture that we have here, summarizes all the steps in our scientific method. Okay, so again, we started observation, followed by making your question, your scientific question. Then of course, you have your hypothesis, your experiment, analysis of your results, and of course, your conclusion. You say observation, then you use your five senses to uh, learn about things around you, okay? So that would be your observation. Now remember, there are two types of observation. Your two types of observation, of course, is uh, the first one is your qualitative observation. This is a type of observation where you only use descriptions. You only use characteristics of objects. So, for example, you say she drives a new white car, okay? Notice here that you have the words new and white. These are just descriptions. These are just adjectives. So we say that this is just a qualitative form of observation. The second type of observation that you have here is quantitative, and this type of observation uses numbers, okay? So, example, you say her car weigh, weighs 100 kilograms, okay? So this type of observation would be quantitative observation since we are using numbers or quantities. There is another term which is closely related to observation, and that term is inference. So again, the difference between your observation and your inference is that when you observe, these are actually the things that you get from your environment, and these are the things that you observe using your five senses. But when you say inference, these are opinions that you form, okay? Opinions that you form based on what you have observed, okay? So again, observation is when you are making use of your five senses, and when you say inference, this is an opinion that you form based on what you have observed. All right, so that's the first step of your scientific method, which is observation. And of course, you already know the difference between observation and inference. Now, the second step that you have here is a question. And since we are talking about scientific method here, we're talking about the scientific question. When you say scientific question, it can be tested. It is a testable question. And the other thing is that it is not answerable by just a yes or a no. Okay, so it is a type of question that you cannot answer just by using a yes or a no. It should require experimentation or it should require uh, testing. All right, so that's your scientific question. So again, we say a question becomes scientific. It cannot be answered by a yes or or a no, it requires experiment, and it shows the relationship between your variables, okay? It shows relationships between your variables. We are going to discuss your variables later. All right, now some examples of your scientific questions can be found on your screen. Example number one, how will the amount of yeast affect the size of bread I am baking? Okay, so as you can see here, this type of question would require testing. This is going to require experimentation. And of course, it shows us the relationship between your variables your amount of yeast, which is your independent variable, the one that you are going to change in your experiment. And of course, its, its effect is the size of the bread, and we say that this is your dependent variable. Okay, so again, scientific question, it cannot be answered by just a yes or a no. It shows the relationship between your variables, and of course, it requires experimentation or testing. You also have your other examples here, which detergent is better at removing stains? Okay, so you have detergent, the relationship of the different types of detergent that you're using and their effectivity or your effectiveness at removing stains. Okay, now the last example that you have here is how will the amount of sunlight affect the growth of tomato plants? So again, this type of question cannot be answered by just a yes or a no. It requires experimentation or testing. And of course, it shows us the relationship between your variables, the amount of sunlight, and of course, the growth of tomato plants, the cause and effect or your independent variable and your dependent variable. Okay, so these are some examples of your scientific questions or testable questions.